<sighs> hey, so you're an artist producer out there and you want to make an impact, but there's just a couple of problems. You see, you've got a few things you're doing that they're dookie. <laughs> so we need to cut out the dookie and we need to have us a few reality checks today when it comes to becoming a producer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is five things aspiring artist producers need to stop doing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Number one, aspiring producer, please just <sighs> stop searching for third party sounds. You're going to Splice, you're looking through this sample pack, that sample pack, you're buying stuff, you're spending all this time getting this kick drum, this snare, this 808 sound, whatever it is, but here's the dose of reality that you need to drink today. Mm, that's good. No matter what DAW, what recording software you're using, even if it's free like GarageBand, you have at least 20 or more kick sounds, snare sounds, and all the other kind of sounds you can think of. And we waste a ton of time and sometimes a ton of money on sounds that don't even sound very different from the ones we already have available to us. Number two, number two, ladies and gentlemen. This pains me very much. Don't spend all of your time watching YouTube tutorials. I'm not saying YouTube tutorials are bad. I have a YouTube channel. I watch them, I learn, but here is the dose of reality that I want you to take. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. <sighs> if you say that you wanna be a serious artist or producer and you consume this much YouTube content but you create this much music, there is a serious problem there, my friends. Again, go find some teachers that are really helpful, but watch their stuff a little bit and then create a lot. That's the only way you're gonna get better as a producer. Number three, guys, number three. If you don't stop doing this, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Stop buying third party plugins. Now it's not wrong to have a few extra plugins. I have one, two, three that I use on a regular basis. But what I'm saying is the reality that you need to eat on and take a dose of is this, my friends. Your DAW already has tons of really high quality plugins, EQs, compression, reverb, delay, and all the creative crazy stuff. Here's the dealio, Emilio. <laughs> If you can't make things sound great using your stock plugins, then you're not going to make them sound great with third party plugins. <sighs> Number four, stop trying. Train! 12 seconds later. I will stop that train with my bare hands. Not really. Guys, seriously, stop trying to become an instant producer! My friends, here's the dose of reality that you need to kick back on. <laughs> Woo! You can instantly buy plugins, sounds, gear, watch instant YouTube videos, whatever, but you cannot instantly purchase or cultivate skill. Becoming a legit producer, music maker, artist takes time and if you hold this idea in your mind that somehow it can become instant or you can purchase it then you're going to be really prone to every ad and offer that comes your way promising you that if you watch this if you buy this then you will instantly sound better no you won't no you won't that's not the way it works really the biggest gains are going to happen from your song creation from your production from your mixing and that is only something that you yourself can cultivate over time Number five, stop reaching for things outside of yourself to become a better producer. So what am I trying to tell you, Charlie? Well, here's what I'm trying to tell you, Charles. Creativity, amazing songs come from within you, your skill set, your signature sound, your creativity, not from the things outside of you like gear or plugins or extra sounds. And here is the dose of reality that you need to sip on like some refreshing water. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Reality's good. If you take a good artist, producer, songwriter, and you put them in any scenario, any kinds of gear, any program, any sounds, they are going to use what's inside of them to make amazing music. Because the most valuable and beautiful thing you can possess as a producer is creative skills inside of you. Okay, so we've talked about a bunch of things that you don't need to do, 
But we need to now talk about some things that you do need to do. Do do. First off, you need to use the program that you have, the sounds that you have, the plugins that you have, the gear that you have, and you need to do this. You need to create tons of song ideas. I'm talking hundreds, maybe even thousands of song ideas. This is where you're gonna cultivate those skills, that creativity that comes out no matter what situation you're in. And it's also gonna help you hone in on your signature sound. Number two, with all of your gear and plugins and all of that, you need to... I don't remember what I'm supposed to say! Number two, you need to finish songs on a regular basis. Once a month, once every two or three months, I don't know what your pace is, but don't just create a bunch of songs and never finish anything. You actually need to take your favorite ideas and do the work, DW baby, do the work that it takes to complete those songs because here's reality. No one publishes unfinished song ideas. You don't go to Spotify to listen to half finished songs. And more than that, you can't build a portfolio for potential clients from ideas. And the third and final thing that you need to do to, <laughs> I like saying doo-doo. Find your signature sound. Yes, you can emulate others, but the more songs you create, the more songs you finish, you're actually gonna start to hone in on the sounds that are unique to you. You can be original and do something that's never been heard before because it's truly and uniquely you. And that involves honing in on some of your favorite sounds and patches and plugins and presets and building your own smaller library within your large library of sounds that you really reach for. Whoa, this has been intense. We've talked about some stuff in this video and I want you to know I'm really not mad, I'm really not crazy, but I really am passionate about you guys reaching your full potential. And that happens by doing the things that I've talked about in this video. You've got to stop looking outside of you and what you already have and spend your time and effort making music because at the end of the day, catch me on this. I want you guys to be producers that doo-doo. <laughs> I think I should stop now. You know what? This has been Dean. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I will catch you in another video.